and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania. This is episode number three and today we are going to be looking at the Stettler Ergosoft pencils um, right here. These are the Ergosoft color pencils. There's 24 in this set. Now um, there used to be a 36 set but I think that was limited edition and that's really really hard to come by. Um, it's not on Amazon so it might be on eBay but it might run you a lot of money. I haven't looked. I'm kind of afraid to look because I'm sure they're pretty expensive if they're even still there. But um, they used to have a 36 set that I think was limited edition, but the regular set here has 24 colored pencils. So um, it comes in this packaging. And if you're used to the fine liners from Stettler, it's, it's pretty much the same packaging. It's kind of a blue container. And so how it works is it's going to open up <clears throat> It's going to open up and then the pencils are inside okay and so what you could do with this is it's got kind of like a little easel thing that you can that you can um, kind of use to sort of to kind of stand it up if you want to okay but I usually don't do that I just I just stick it down on my table and uh, and do it that way because I don't know, like I have a hard time getting it to stand up. But anyway, um, you can actually kind of use this as a, as a little easel if you want to. But here is what the pencils are gonna look like. These are all of the, the colors. And so let me just go ahead and take one of the pencils out and let's show it to you, to you guys, okay? So here's a darker one. Now they are triangular in shape, you know, just like the fine liners are, if you're used to the fine liners. Um, they have the um, white, stuff on the on the core right there can you guys see that i'll bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can see that but there's white kind of right before you get to the colored core i think that's their anti-break system and all of their colored pencils they have several kinds of colored pencils and stuff and i think all of them have that on there so with these pencils it's got the it's got a little barcode right there can you guys see that and then there's there's a bunch of numbers and stuff on here um there's a bunch of numbers and stuff on here and this is how you kind of tell like what pencil is what there's a there's a number right there um that's going to tell you what the number of the color is these are german pencils and then i think here right there now i don't know why they have this here but it says name and then apparently you can kind of write like what the name is on this pencil but it's kind of odd that they kind of got that. I mean, why couldn't they just print that on the, the pencil itself? And then you have Stedler. Um, it says Stedler Ergosoft. Okay. And then it says, um, it, it also says made in Germany. So these are a German pencil. And so there's a lot that I love about these pencils and a few things that I don't. What I really love is, is how they lay down. I love the colors. Um, they're really, really good pencils. Um, I will show you the swatches of these. There's a few things that I do not like, however, though. Um, what I don't like is that there there's only 24 colors, okay? And so to me, this color pencil set, um, it would serve maybe two purposes. Number one, it could be a supplementary set to other colored pencils that you have. Like, let's say if you've got the Black Widows or um, they even work really great with the Prisma colors, that kind of thing. Um, so if you want a set to kind of supplement what you've already got, that would work out very well. Um, or if you just want to take a, a little set to travel with, that would also work out well. If you don't want to take a bunch of pencils, like with the big pencil case, this is really good for traveling because it doesn't take up much room to, to throw in your bag. The container is really skinny, okay? Um, but if you're using this to color like a big project or something, the it's pretty limiting because again there's only 24 colors so to me like if i'm going to do a big project i like to have at least a 72 pencil set so it there's not very many colors in here and also is the set budget friendly well um you could look at it two ways i looked at the price and right now they have this set on amazon for about 16 dollars. i think it was 16 dollars and 16 dollars and 10 cents so you think okay well that's not very much money at all however for 24 pencils for 16 dollars that gets a little bit up there if you think about it because 
you can get more for your money like if you buy Fila's. Like if you get the Fila colored pencils, you get like a hundred and I think it's a hundred and sixty two pencils for I don't know twenty five bucks or something like that. So yeah, the Fila's are a little bit more expensive than this. However, you're getting a lot more pencils than what you're going to get for sixteen bucks in this set here. So yeah, sixteen bucks is not a lot to pay for a set of colored pencils. However, you don't get that many colors. So that's really just the drawback. Um, and also another drawback is that they don't have the actual name on the pencils. They just have a number. And I don't think that you can get these open stock. I think if you want to get, like if you run out of a color and if you need, um, if you need that color again, you're going to have to buy this whole set again. Um, cause I've not really seen these open stock. And so, so really the three drawbacks is, is, is no open stock, no name on the pencil and yeah, it seems like it would be budget friendly, um, but you're still paying quite a bit of money for just a limited supply of colored pencils. And the other drawback is that again, it's a limited supply because there's only 24 colors. You don't get that. You don't get that many colors. Okay. So I mean, what you do get is is you get a couple of colors of each shade and stuff. So um, it's a good set to start out with if you're just starting out or if you just want to take a set to travel. It's perfect for that. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the swatches of these pencils, and then we're going to see how they color. Okay, so I'll open up my swatch book. Okay. So let me just try to, to show you guys. Okay, um, I'm probably gonna have to lift up the camera just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, um, Okay. I think we got them all in frame. So here's all the swatches of these color pencils. Again, there's 24 colors. And I put the, what I did was I did the from dark to lightest, or kind of went from lightest to dark up here. And then I put the number of what pencil it is on the swatch chart. So here is what all of the colors look like from going to darkest to light. Um, it kind of gives you that nice little gradient. So, I mean, you do get some really, really beautiful colors in there. There's just not very many of them. So, um, let's go ahead and see how these things color. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab this um, piece of cardstock that I had in here. Okay. So what I'm doing is I just have this old piece of cardstock that I just, I'm kind of using for swatches or not swatches, but you know, just for test. So there's stuff on the back and here's, you know, I just kind of used all this stuff for, for just seeing how it colors and stuff. So instead of getting a whole new one to do this, I'm going to, um, we're going to use this one here and let's go ahead just so we don't get confused. I'm going to just draw like a line here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look below here. Um, don't pay any attention to what's on the top. That was another set of color pencils, and I used that, um, you know, for another pencil mania thing. But I don't want to waste my cardstock, so we're just going to look at the paper below here. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a couple of colors. We're going to see how it lays down, and we're going to see how it blends. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab... I'm going to grab this yellow and I'm going to grab this one here. Okay. So now what I do in this series is I, um, I will see how the colors blend. We'll look at how they erase and then, um, we're going to do a little bit of coloring. So now just, uh, kind of give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer here. I am coloring with a visual impairment. So that means I have to get close to my work so I can see what I am doing. So, um, I will try to keep my head out of the way as much as I can, but you're still going to see it a little bit. So just know that I have new people that come to my channel every day. So I always like to tell you that before we get started with this, you know, just in case I hear, get your old big head out of the way. Well, I try. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to take this yellow and we're just going to start laying it down. Now, um, you don't really need a whole lot of pressure for these because these go down very, very well. Um, it goes down very nicely as we are seeing. Um, these pencils are quite soft, you know, the name, so, you know, ergo the name, ergo soft. Okay. So then let's go ahead and take this pencil here and we're going to do the same thing. And then we're just going to see how it blends out a little bit. So I'm just kind of adding just a little bit of a light layer here. And you don't really need to press all that much. These colors are pretty vibrant. Um, they're nice and soft. Um, but 
you know, if you're going to compare them to a Prismacolor, nothing really compares to a Prismacolor because um, Prismacolors are one of a kind. You're not going to find a pencil that is as soft as a Prismacolor, okay? It just isn't going to happen. So I'm kind of just going over here into this yellow, and I'm going to press down just a little bit. We're kind of going over here into this yellow, and um, you can kind of see how it's blending very nicely in there. You can just kind of see how that blends together very nicely. So I'm going to take the yellow again, um, make sure that I'm in frame. Ugh, okay. I'm going to take the yellow, and then I'm just going to kind of go over into this color here. And you can see that it blends very, very nicely together. So these pencils really do a great job with shading and blending and, and so forth. Um, with the triangle barrels, they, um, they're pretty nice to hold. They, they're pretty lightweight in your hand. Um, they're a different feel, so you kind of have to get used to that triangular shape. But that's how they, that's how they blend together um, pretty well. They blend together very, very nicely. And we can do maybe a couple of other colors and show you. Let's go ahead and put these back. Uh, maybe we'll grab a couple of darker colors and we'll see how those work. So let's go ahead and try. We're going to try this color and this color here. Okay, we're going to try these two colors. Whoops, we'll try these two colors and see how it works. Okay, so again, we're going to start out with the, with the lighter color. And just make sure that I'm in frame. We're going to start out with the lighter color and we'll start laying that down a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm not pressing very hard at all. Now, I could go in with the medium pressure and of course it's going to darken up the color. But these are really good for layering. You can layer these really nicely. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead with the darker color. We're going to lay some of that down. Again, I'm just, I'm not pressing very hard at all. Bring it over this way. Okay. Now, now I'm doing this on cardstock, so it's not actual coloring book paper. I am doing this on cardstock. And I'm pressing just a little bit harder to try to get this to blend in. I got, I got some sh harsh lines right here. So it does blend pretty good together, as we can see. You can kind of see that we're getting, you can see that we're getting a nice blend like right here between these two colors. Can you guys see that? So it does do really, really nice together. The color lay down is, is pretty effortless. Um, you don't have to uh, you don't have to work it super hard like you do some pencils. So I really like how this lays down. I just wish there were more colors of these. I wish the names were on the pencil, and I just wish that there were more colors of these because this is a very, very limit limiting limited set. It really is. Okay. So that's how they're going to blend together. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these pencils back and we're going to go grab our eraser and we'll see how it erases. Okay, so I'm going to take my Derwent electric eraser and we're going to erase a little bit of this and just kind of see how it works. So we'll do just a little bit over here on the lighter side. Okay, that erases pretty good, although it's not going to take all of the color away. It seems like that um, these pencils do not erase as well as others I have seen. So you're going to see that if you if you put down a few layers, you're going to have a hard time getting it off of here. I mean, it will erase. It will take off. It will take off color but you're going to see a lot of residue left behind there. So to me, I don't think these erase as well as other pencils that I have seen, especially, you know, especially after you, if you put down a couple of layers, it's just, it's just not going to happen. 
especially with the darker colors, I think. The darker colors are not gonna erase as, as nicely. See, it's just, it's just not gonna take, see, it, it doesn't erase as well as other pencils that I have seen. So you kind of have to be careful with these. And um, if you want it, it, it's, these pencils are very true. It's easier to add color than it is to take away color. So just keep that in mind when you are using these pencils. So um, if you need to erase a mistake, um, you're probably not gonna get all of the color off here. Um, these pencils, you know, once you kind of lay it down, it's it's there for the most part. Um, you can take some away, but you're but you're still going to see quite a bit of color left behind. So be very very mindful of that. All right, so we're going to actually do a little bit of coloring with these, as we like to do in this series. So let me put this away, okay? And we're going to get out our coloring book, and we are going to be coloring in designer dirts, designer dirts, <laughs> designer desserts from Creative Haven. And I have been dying to color in this book because I have not colored in this book yet. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this picture here. You see that? We're going to take this picture here, and we're going to color a little bit with these Ergo Softs. Now I am going to do a little bit of work with the Ergo Softs here. I'm not going to color the whole entire picture, oops, with Ergo Softs because again, um, these pencils are pretty limited with, with what colors and stuff that they have in there. So to me, um, this is more of a supplementary set. So this kind of adds to the sets that you've already got. And you know, unless you're going to do like a big color challenge or something, um, this is not really the best set to use um, on a whole entire picture. Okay, I think this is the one that we wanted. This is just not the set to use for a whole entire picture, especially a real detailed one where you're gonna need a lot of colors. But for a good color challenge, like maybe three colors or something, it's gonna work really good, okay? So let's go ahead and look at um, some, uh, some stuff that we can do here. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this pencil here and we're gonna start coloring in the hearts. And let me just make sure that I'm in frame. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little tiny bit. Okay, I'm just zoom in just a little bit. So we're just gonna start to color in these little hearts in here with, with this particular pencil. Um, now again, like I said, you, um, you, you're probably going to think of these as more of a supplementary set because, um, again, there's not very many colors in here at all. Um, and so what I'm going to do is with this pencil here is I'm just going to straight color in these hearts because these are tiny enough that it's going to be kind of hard to shade them. So we're just going to color in the hearts and there's going to be uh, plenty of other places in here to do some blending and shading and stuff in here. But I'm probably going to end up using Prisma colors along with these just simply because um, to color a whole entire picture in just Ergo Softs is challenging um, because of the uh, limited number of colors in here. Okay. But as you can see, it lays down very nicely. Um, it's vibrant, as you can tell by the swatches. Now, this paper in this Creative Haven um, seems to work very well with, with all different types of colored pencils. Prismacolors work beautifully in it, as do polychromos, as do a lot of other colored pencils. This is just really nice paper to work on in these Creative Haven books. So the triangular feel of these pencils are going to take a little bit of getting used to, but if you're used to using the Studler fine liners, then um, you're going to notice that it's got the same kind of feel. Now they do make Ergo Soft watercolor pencils, which I don't have. I don't have. I'd like to try them out, but I don't have those in my stash as of yet. Um, I have a couple of sets of watercolor pencils. I have. I have the Albert Durr watercolor pencil sets, uh, set, the whole set of those. And those are the same colors as what you get with polychromos, okay? 
Um, and I've also got the Artist Choice, not Artist Loft, but Artist Choice watercolor pencils along with the colored pencils by them. I've got a Prismacolor watercolor set. I think there's like um, 36, I think, in that set. And then I've got actual watercolors. I do have watercolors. Which I really should get out and um, use because it's been a while since I've used them. Of course, I have my lovely Neo 2s. Um, lovely, lovely Neo 2s. Which I need to break out and use again because it's been a while. I've been working primarily with just straight pencil um, lately. My Touch 5 markers need a little bit of love. They're my soft touch. They're the same thing as the Touch 5s. They just have, I think, a different um, layout or something with, the, with them. They're the white markers instead of the black ones. But they're the same colors. And I should break them out and use them because it's been a while since I have. I don't have the Cali Art markers or anything. The only alcohol markers I have are the Touch Softs. Because I'm just, you know, I don't really reach for markers all that much, so I don't, I don't get a whole lot of markers. If I, if there's anything I get, it's pencils. Because, as you guys know, I am a pencil hoe. <laughs> I am a self-proclaimed pencil hoe. <laughs> uh, that I am. So, do I like these pencils? Yes, I do. I'm glad that I have them in my collection. Are they my favorites? Well, um, they are a great pencil to use. I just wish that we had more colors. And so I tend to just use these for supplementary purposes, like with my other pencils. Because to color an entire picture, like I said, would be challenging because of the limited number of colors that we have in here, which is really unfortunate because these are very, very nice pencils. I am not gonna lie about that. Okay, so I got the hearts colored in. Now, I think I'm gonna color these all in blue. Yeah, we'll see how these blend together. So we'll start it off. I'll start it off kind of with, the, with this color here and I'm going to just kind of color in the little swirl. And then we'll take the other pencil and we'll, we'll color some other stuff with it. Now this I think is, it, it kind of reminds me of one of those like swirly, swirly, swirly like lollipops or something like that, you know, with the I think most of them I've seen were, were red and white, you know, kind of like a candy cane, but we're going to we're going to do these different colors. Cuz I think that may look nice. So, um the age-old question, of course, what's everybody working on? Um I have taken a break from Sweet Colorful Christmas to do this video and a couple of others, although it's still going on, of course, but um, I thought we would go ahead and do um, a Pencilmania video because it's been a while since we've done a Pencilmania video. And I have a lot of pencils to show you guys. But I'm really loving all of the pictures for Sweet Colorful Christmas. Um, I will be doing another video of that very soon. Um, I think I'm going to finish off the sweater that I started on um, uh, um, I'm going to finish off the sweater that I started the other day off camera. Now I'm just kind of straight coloring these things right now. Um, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do like a contrast with these colors in, you know, with the different swirly things here. That's what I'm going to try to do with this. 
Now there'll be other places in here to actually shade and stuff, but I think for these things I'm just going to straight color this. But we'll do them in all different colors because I think that would be nice. Make this very colorful. Okay. What do you guys think of that one? Okay, let's go ahead and grab a couple of other colors and we'll do the next one. And you have to kind of get these in just right, otherwise it's not going to fit back into the holes, unfortunately. Now you do get several greens with, um, with these. Let's go ahead and take this. And let's take this. We're going to see how well these two go together and we'll work on the next little, little swirly here. I think we'll do this one right here. Hopefully I am in frame so you guys can see. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before with just the two colors. So I kind of like to, you know, when I do these Pencil Mania video series, I like to just do a little bit of coloring with you guys so you can see what the colors are going to look like on the page. Now what I'll do is I'll do one more, I'll do this swirly here with these two colors and then I'll try to do an area um, and blend them together so you can see what that's going to look like. And I'm kind of doing a medium pressure on these things just to kind of get that color to pop on these little, little sweet things here. <laughs> Now, um, my gosh, like you could take this book and you could totally make, there's a lot of cakes and stuff in here. You could totally make like Christmas cupcakes out of this thing. I mean, it would be so pretty. Really would it be so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna see how this is gonna look. Ooh, I kinda like that together. What do you think? I like this together. This one. I think this is a little bit of a similar color, but um, it's lighter. So you still get that color shift. I'm going to try to lighten up on this pencil just a little bit so that we can see the color difference quite a lot more. Okay. So I hope everybody had an awesome weekend. Today is Monday morning. The, is it the 18th? Yeah, I think it's the 18th. So this is Monday morning, the 18th. And we're just doing a little bit of pencil mania for you. Oops. So one thing about these pencils is because of the shape of them, you are not going to you are not going to drop them everywhere because it's not going to roll off the table because the triangular shape will stop them from rolling, which is nice. You don't have to worry about your pencils falling on the floor. I'm just going to darken this one up right here just to give a little bit more of a variance. A second layer here to this. Okay. So these two colors I think would blend very, very nicely together. So what we're going to do is we are going to take these two colors and I'm going to just come up over here on the little stripes. And I think this is what we're going to use just kind of around the little hearts. And I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the darker color first. And we're just going to color here. 
around the, the heart. It's kind of up over this way. So, um, yeah, like I said, I hope everybody had a great weekend. We had a pretty good one. You know, we definitely still miss Turbo, you know. We're going to miss Turbo for quite a long time. Um, it's not even been a week since we had to take him in to do the deed, you know, where he had to get his little, little one-way ticket. So we're going to miss him for a long time, but we've been trying to find things to kind of keep us distracted. Like, my gosh, like last night, you know, we, um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lighter color and I'm going, oops, I'm going to add a little bit of the dark color just kind of down here. Um, so what we did last night was we had, um, we're trying to kind of declutter. Um, we have areas of our house that totally need to be decluttered. So, um, John got rid of, uh, some old books that he didn't want anymore that he knows he's not going to read, you know, they're kind of old and outdated and stuff. So he got, now I'm going to take the lighter color and we're going to just kind of blend this together. Um, so he got rid of a lot of that stuff. Um, he had a bunch of old books to, to get rid of. And me, I took the time and I continued to muck out this one closet that's in the front room here. Um, it used to be our living room, but you know now it's the music room um, because we built a new living room and we added onto the house back in like um, 2000, year 2000. And um, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another layer of the darker on here just to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, so I had a bunch of stuff in that closet in there. Um, I had a bunch of old coats and stuff that really, really needed to go. And some old shoes that, uh, needed to go. And there were some old clothes in there that I couldn't get into anymore, so those had to go. I think I was saving them for, well, if I took off some weight, I'd be able to get into them. Well, it's been a long time, so I just, I got rid of that. And it was kind of depressing, actually. I was I was kind of laughing about this with Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, if you guys haven't checked her out, you need to do that because she is really good. Uh, really, really love her pictures. So um, anyway, I, I was kind of laughing. I was kind of laughing as, as I was responding to a comment of hers because um, I, you know, I was I was talking about how we were cleaning out this closet, and um, I said I found, you know, I was I got rid of probably I probably got rid of like three bags of like, uh, you know, clothes and shoes and stuff that, you know, either didn't want anymore or couldn't wear anymore. And so I was kind of laughing. I said, you know, it was kind of depressing because like, I'm looking at, you know, a lot of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. And it's like, man, I remember when I used to be able to get into it and, you know, looking at that, you kind of wonder what the devil happened. And <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> it's like, gee, I used to actually be able to get into that. And I said, it is hell to get old. <laughs> But you see how that, that you see how that blends together very nicely like that. And I'm just gonna take the darker color again and we're just we're gonna do the same thing. So yeah, I was kind of laughing at that a little bit with, with Kate. <laughs> um, but I do want to thank everybody for their concern and their kindness and love and stuff and, and their thoughtfulness for for the for the loss of turbo um, you guys have all been really super great and very supportive and I thank you so much for that um, it's just really nice to oops it's just really nice to to um, you know to see all that sympathy and concern and, and caring and stuff and I just I really really appreciate it can't tell you guys how much I appreciate it but I certainly certainly do certainly do so thank you all so very much so yeah but it is it's very hard and it's going to be hard for a while because you know they do become part of the family and boy you know when they're not here anymore you miss them <clears throat> they leave a big hole and there's you know certain times and certain Certain times you you miss them, I think, a little bit more. Like, 
you know, we really notice it like when we're in here having our, our espresso and, and cappuccino and stuff. Um, because Turbo was always in here, you know, wanting his, wanting a back rub and wanting ear scratches and stuff. And, you know, then he'd sneak up on the water bowl because um, Turbo, he was very, he, he was very quirky in a lot of ways, okay? Um, a lot of things scared him. He was kind of, he was a bit of a wuss <laughs> about certain things. And we had this big uh, stainless steel water bowl that, you know, all the dogs would drink out of, you know, it's, it's a huge bowl. And um, so we just, you know, we set that down for everybody to just, it's like a communal water bowl, okay? So um, we, um, we would set that down for everybody. And Turbo, he was a little scared of it. I think it's because it was shiny. And now when we first got him, he was really, really scared of the floor. He was scared of like tile floors and, and shiny surfaces and stuff. So, so he never really quite got over that. And um, he would sort of scare himself with the water bowl at times. And so he would always kind of sneak up on the water bowl. Like, well, if I sneak up on it, maybe it won't bite me, you know, kind of thing. And so he, um, <laughs> and the funny thing is, is like he would, um, now if one of the other dogs was drinking out of it, you know, he'd be perfectly fine. Um, he'd be perfectly fine with it. And he wouldn't sneak up on it or anything, but you know, when he did it himself, yeah, he snuck up on it pretty good. So yeah, we miss that. We do, we miss that. Uh, let's see, yeah. Make sure it had the right color. But these do blend together very, very nicely, as you can see. You don't really have to you don't really have to press down or, or, um, you don't really have to press down or mash on it, you know, when, um, uh, you know, as you're working with this, not, you know, not like you do with some other pencils. These are very soft pencils, you know, they're not, you know, nothing's going to compare to a Prismacolor in that department, but these are soft pencils. And because they are pretty soft, um, I would be mindful about working with these on Create Space Paper. Um, I would choose some better paper to work with these on because like Prismacolors, um, these are not as soft as Prismacolors, but they are soft and softer pencils seem to not do as well on Create Space paper. So, you know, you need to kind of be a little bit mindful of that. And I'm just going to go up around this heart with the darker color. So these do a great job of, of blending together very good and these would work very nicely with your Prismacolors. I think they would also work very nicely with your Polychromos. Um, they're just a really nice, to me, they're, they're just a really nice supplementary pencil to have to go with your other sets. Or it's a nice set to have if you don't want very many pencils. Like if you're just starting out with coloring, you know and uh, you just want to see how a set works. You're not going to get totally overwhelmed with, um, you're not going to get totally overwhelmed with many, many color choices because there's not many here. But if you're, if you've decided that you really love to color and you really like having your big sets of pencils, um, you would be really disappointed with these unless you had another set to work with um, alongside these, in my opinion, just because of the limited supply of colors in here. That's my biggest gripe is I just wish that there were more colors in here. That is definitely my biggest gripe about these. But otherwise, I mean, they're lovely pencils. They work very awesomely. I've not had any issues with them breaking or anything. They sharpen up nicely, but, but because of the triangular shape, you kind of have to be careful how you sharpen them. So just kind of be mindful of that. Okay. Come over here with a darker color. 
I want to, uh, these colors I picked out are kind of similar in shade, I think. But I just wanted to show you just, um, I didn't want something like real in your face, but these are just really great. Um, I can blend these out very nicely and you still get that little, that little flavor of that shading right there with these with these two colors anyway, but these really do blend together nicely. As you can see, it doesn't take much to, it does not take much to um, get rid of those harsh lines. And I think these would work very well with the Prismacolor blender, if you have one of those. I think my favorite blender is the Prismacolor blender, although, I mean, I have the Derwent ones, but it seems like the Derwent ones kind of leave like a grayish shade behind or something. I don't know. It's like it's got a film that it puts over the color and uh, the Prismacolor one I think works. Um, it's my favorite one I think. So I tend to get quite a few of those Prismacolor blenders. Because I think they work out very nicely and I love them. So you can just see how nicely that shades together <coughs> or that blends together and shades and stuff. <coughs> oh, got a tickle in my throat. Holy moly. <coughs> I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten this done. And I think maybe we'll take the time. Um, you know what? I think I'll do this other stripe off camera. But we'll come back and we will work on this. So here is what we have so far with these pencils. You can kind of see how much we've colored with them on this picture. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay. So here's what we have so far with this picture. And now my final thoughts about these pencils again. Um, let's see. My final, my final thoughts about these pencils again. Um, I like, I really like how they lay down. I love the colors. Um, I love the colors. I just wish that there were more of them. Um, <clears throat> what I like about the pencils is how they lay down. Um, I like how they feel in your hand. Um, they do have beautiful colors and it blends together very nicely. You don't have to, um, you don't have to, to you know really smush down on them to get them to blend out together and stuff. Um, I, I really like how they operate. But the big drawbacks again, um, I just wish there were names on the pencils instead of just numbers. They really needed to put the names on there. I mean, if they're going to go through the trouble of putting the square thing on there where it says name, you know, where they want you to write the name on there, they should have at least printed the names on there in my opinion. Um, they, depending on how you look at it, it's probably not the most budget friendly pencil because again, you're spending $16 for just 24 pencils, even though it's not a lot of money, you still don't get as many pencils for the, the buck that you would like with say Fila's or Sudi Styles or something like that, okay? Um, and also it's not open stock. I've not seen any of these open stock. And also there's just not very many colors. There really aren't very many colors at all, which to me, um, that's the biggest drawback is the limited supply of the colors. So would I recommend them? Yes, if you're looking for a supplemental set of colored pencils to go with some other ones that you have, like say the Black Widows or something. Um, or if you just want a nice travel set to throw in your bag and, and you just want just a few pencils to use. Or if you find yourself being overwhelmed by a huge array of colors in a color pencil set, you know, those are, those are great reasons to get these. Um, just I like to just think of them as a supplementary set to the pencils that I do have is what I like to think of them as. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Stedler Ergosoft colored pencils. Uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment and tell me what you think, of course, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more in this series, plus any of the other videos that I make. I will leave links to Amazon for these pencils if you want to purchase them on Amazon, as well as the book that I have colored in. 
And just to give you guys that disclaimer, I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you decide to purchase anything from the links that I provide in my videos, I get a small, tiny little commission back, and that just helps to, that just goes right back in to help support the channel so that I can bring you series like Pennsylvania and, and other things. So anyway, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment, of course, hit that like button. You guys have a great day and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You all have a great day and we will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.